Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and this video is about how often should you bathe a Yorkie. So from my personal experience, I bathe my Yorkies once per week. I use extremely gentle shampoo and conditioner. I keep all of the water out of their ears by pressing them shut so that they don't wind up with an ear infection. And I actually don't blow dry them. I just let them dry naturally. Now, a lot of people will only bathe their Yorkie every two weeks. I think this is fine as well, but Yorkies do require a lot of care. And the thing to remember is that you must at least be brushing them every single day and freeing up all of the eye things that will tend to accumulate for a Yorkshire Terrier. This can get really uncomfortable for them if you don't take care of these parts. And I find that my Yorkies personally do get dirty very quickly. Now in between their baths during the winter time when we go out and we're in the snow and they're stepping on salt and things like that, every single time I bring them in, I rinse off their feet because they are licking their paws, they're licking their bodies. And I think that there are a lot of chemicals in the salts that they put down to melt the snow. So I very, very frequently do bathe my Yorkies, but one thing to remember is I use a special shampoo and conditioner, which is pH balanced just for, well, I won't say just for Yorkshire Terriers, but just for dogs. So I use a great, great product called Espana Silk, and I'm actually going to be linking to it below. This video is not sponsored by Espana Silk. It is a product that I found myself, but I absolutely love it. Um, it's gentle, it doesn't have any fragrances, it's just been an amazing product, and it took me so long to find something like that. Another great product that I really enjoy is by Isle of Dogs, and I actually sometimes use their puppy shampoo, and then they have a more rich conditioner that I use, and I will also be linking to those. The smell is phenomenal, but it is an artificial fragrance, so for those of you that are trying to stay away from all things that have an artificial fragrance, I would recommend staying away from that one. But if it does not bother you or your puppy, it could be okay. For dogs that have skin conditions, I would say absolutely stick to the Espana Silk. If you enjoyed this video and you got value from it, please take a moment to comment below and also subscribe to my channel. So my goal is to reach 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I own an in-person business and I started this entire channel as a way to, to sort of sustain my business, to grow my business, to make it through this pretty difficult time in life for in-person business owners. So it would really mean everything to me if you would support my channel, if you are getting value from it. And feel free to ask me any questions below. It, it really feels great when you guys chat with me and you let me know if you're enjoying the videos. Um, the other day, someone actually let me know that my music was too loud um, and she was right. So thank you for that. Appreciate it and talk to you guys soon.